Hey guys, I'm going to do another story time. I kind of like these story times because they remind me of my friends uh, in New York. So I went to NYU in uh, New York City, really good time. Uh, freshman year, my two roommates, or not roommates, two, uh, they lived in the same floor as me and our floor was pretty tight. We had Thanksgiving together. I mean, our floor was very international. So my three roommates were from Korea and then those roommates next door were um, a bunch of uh, people from Korea too. So uh, the whole roommate, the whole side of my room, the whole hallway from like uh, four dorms and four people a dorm was Asian. And that's, you know, NYU does have a very large Asian population. And then the other side uh, was kind of like just, the other side had two guys who play magic and we used to go to this store uh, in Midtown to, for Magic the Gathering. And again, like I wasn't very good at magic at the time. I wasn't as good as I eventually became. Uh, when I went after I graduated college and went to grad school, so we went. We go to this event. I believe it's the Dissension pre-release event, and we're drafting. We're doing sealed, doing a lot of fun stuff. I think we're drafting. I believe we're drafting because it was it doesn't make sense to do sealed. We're drafting. This guy comes in. We all know this dude because we played the same store. The store is actually. I really do wish I had my own DCI so I can know which store it was because it was an amazing store in New York City, uh, and. We're drafting and the guy is just like, he's very arrogant. He's like, you know, he's older. Um, so at that time, you know, I was a freshman in college, so like 19, I guess. Uh, he's probably 25 or 26 and he thinks he's the best Magic player ever. He, we go 2-0, I go 2-0, he goes 2-0 and we're going to play for the pool. And at this, all this time, he's telling me that I should quit, I should quit, we should split. But the way he wants to split it is because he's the better player, he wants to have more boosters and then give me less. But I know that his deck isn't very good because I drafted next to him and I kept handing him like really bad cards and I had bombs and I drafted, um, I knew my deck was better because I played a lot of Dissension, I'm pretty sure it was Dissension uh, drafts. So then we're playing and he essentially rage quits. So he takes my deck, my deck, not his deck, and he throws it across the room, like Jeremy Dizani style, right? And I'm like, dude, what what is going on? Because I actually pulled a Hollow Fountain. I believe it was Hollow Fountain. I believe that's from Dissension. I, it was a um, Shockland that was quite valuable at the time. And I'm like, dude, you know, I, what are you doing? It's not like cool. And then tournament, the people came in and they were like, oh, this is bad. This is just how he behaves. So, okay, whatever, like, my cards weren't damaged, I picked them up, and I won my packs, took my packs, and then went with my friends, and then went back to the dorm. Next pre-release, um, we went again, so this time was a pre-release, and we went to the pre-release, and I went with my friend, one of my other friends, um, in the dorm, but in a different floor, and we went to the pre-release, same guy showed up, and he rage quit against another player. So it wasn't against me, but it was against another player. He took that other player's deck and chucked it across the room again. And I was like, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. Because I hadn't gone to the store since that draft. And apparently he does it like every single week. And I'm like, you know, to the tournament organizer and the store owner is like, why does he, why is he doing this? You know, why don't you suspend him? Blah, blah, blah. And it turns out he bought a lot of product and he was treated a little differently. So fast forward a whole year later when I'm in my sophomore year and then to get to re, I obviously was in a different dorm, not a freshman dorm. And we all lived in different places and we wanted to get together to do pre-release. You see the same dude. <laughs> and you know, I'm like, oh man, like I, I hope he doesn't rage quit again. Um, and you know what pre-release i forget what pre-release it was but i didn't do very well uh, we're just hanging out chilling because the place is really nice the game store is just such a nice place in manhattan to uh, go to these events and there's not many i mean space is such a uh, such a hard entity to purchase or to be at in uh, new york city so he rage quits again uh, again but this time the other dude takes his deck and throws across the room and they DQ the other dude, not him. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just so mind boggling to me, like how this can happen over and over again. Even at the pro tour, even with a pro player, I don't, maybe it was Dizani, but I heard one of the pro players does this quite frequently, is he takes someone's deck, 
or takes his own deck and chucks it across. And I haven't really seen this behavior uh, in Texas or Virginia. I think it's strictly unique to this one person. But the rage quitting is just a, uh, I mean, it's kind of like the, the third time I saw it, it was kind of amusing because I was like, oh, I'm back home. <laughs> you know, because I hadn't seen that. But anyway, like some of the time, times players take this game too seriously. Like it's just like, oh, you made this mistake. You made, you know, hey, I'm just having fun with a game. It's a hobby. Just chill out, right? Um, and yeah, so that was one of my horror stories, if you will. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.